top rated stick foundation versus my favorite. Let's see if this new one that's highly rated is better than this one right here. Let's begin. This is by the brand Basma. This foundation stick retails for $40. It is the foundation stick for hydrating, buildable coverage with a natural finish. It has a pretty decent shade range. Wow, okay. It has aloe vera extract, vitamin E, and apricot butter. But what's fascinating about this product is kind of the story of how this came to be, the stick foundation came to be. The founder, Basma, she had an accident when she was, I think, two years old. More than half of her face was burned throughout her life. She created this secret camouflage procedure for your scars to help them basically become a little better over time. And it just gave her more confidence and she started playing with more makeup, but it's a very fascinating story. What is intriguing about this foundation is the shade match and how good it looks on your skin. $40, you get, I think, 0.22 ounces versus my favorite is the Westman Atelier, the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. This one you get, 0.31 fluid ounces, but it is a lot more expensive at $68. $68. It's packed with skincare ingredients. It's very easy to apply. You can go from a light to a full coverage. It looks really good on your skin. It wears really well, and I like the convenience and ease of a stick. So let's put one to one, and we'll see how it looks, how they apply and how they wear in comparison. I already prepped my face. I'm using the Make Beauty, their Hydroscape, a moisturizing reverse emulsion. I've been loving this. I've been testing it for over a week with different makeup products. And so far, every makeup product that I've used it with, it's beautiful results. So let's begin first with Basma. I have shade 39, which is the second to lightest skin shade with a cool pink undertone, but it might be a little too light. And I only have the one shade. I was feeling confident in myself. Lighter. It's a little too light, but that's okay. We can make this work. We'll just add a little bit more contour and bronzer. It is very creamy, but yeah, you can see it's pretty light. Probably have to take my lighter shade from my Westman, which is 0.5. Mm. See, this one's much better. I'm gonna use my Rose and Ben foundation brushes, C42. I'm gonna apply this one first. Let's see how easy it is. I'm gonna focus the foundation in areas where I usually do. So kind of like on my jaw, my chin, a little bit right here and on the forehead, just because I'm going to leave the rest for like concealer and contour. I'm gonna do the like same thing on this other side. Wow, that actually blended in really good. If I'm enjoying this foundation and if it wears really well, I'm probably gonna pick up number 33, which is light skin with cool undertones. Oh, that was really easy. That actually looks pretty good. Taking the other brush for the Westman Atelier, the Vital Skin Stick Foundation. You can also see how easy that is. And that's also been sitting on my skin for a little bit. I've also been doing this technique of applying foundation in those areas where I'm not going to apply contour or concealer. That way I'm not using as much product on my skin and I'm saving product, you know? But wow, okay. I think they're both doing really good in terms of application. But I think I'm getting a little bit more coverage with the Westman Atelier. But there is a little bit more product on my skin just because a little bit more came out. All right, let's take a little bit on the cheek. Let's take some right here. This would be a really good highlight shade. <laughs> and take a little bit around the nose, a little bit right here. Do the same thing with the Westman. And with cream products, I mentioned this before, I'm, I'll mention it again. I do like to take my time and really blend or pack this into my skin to help it kind of melt a little bit more. But also the finish is what's worth when you spend a little bit more time really uh, stamping this into the skin. It's a little more natural, it's softer on the skin. Obviously it looks blended, but even with this color, yes, it's lighter, but because I'm spending a little bit more time, it's kind of melting into my skin. And it's looking pretty good. The coverage, so they're both up to full coverage, so you can build them up. Natural finish, obviously stick foundation. And they both have skincare properties in the formula, which is great. I'm gonna add a little bit more coverage and see how that's going to sit. But I was just telling Andre, I'm looking really up close with the mirror and the texture of my skin on the Basma side, I think I prefer it over to the Westman Atelier. Wow. 
the formula of the Basma Stick Foundation is so lightweight, but just the way it's sitting on my skin. It's actually really pretty. If anything, Westman Atelier Stick, it's a little creamier. It spreads further than the Basma. They both have a tacky finish. Not tacky, um, a little like a slippy texture, like very cream feeling. But I will say the Westman has a little bit more of a, a little more of like a skincare finish. Yeah, you can definitely feel them on your skin, but they both feel very soft. So we did some quick math. You're paying essentially 48 US dollars for the amount of the Basma foundation that you get. So eight more dollars than the Basma foundation for the Westman Atelier stick. For my bronzer, I'm using the Rare Beauty bronzing stick in the new shade, Bright Side. It has more of a cool undertone. So I love it, it's amazing. Super creamy, very easy to use. I can use this as my bronzer and as my uh, contour shade. And for my concealer, I'm using my Armani Beauty, the Luminous Silk Concealer in 3.75. I'm gonna do House Labs Blush in shade Dragon Fruit Days. I'm gonna do a little bit of ABH in shade Rose Dream. For the eyes, I used the new uh, Bobbi Brown, the Dual Ended Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. I love these. These are phenomenal in this specific shade. Pink Mercury with Beach. This one right here, beautiful. I did the metallic side on my eyelid and then the matte side on the lower lash line along with the Rare Beauty Volumizing Mascara. For the lips, I did, like I said, use the ABH lip liner in shade Rose Dream, but it was a little too pink, so I added the ABH in lip liner shade Muted Mauve or Mauve, and then a little lip balm from Westman Atelier, the liquid one in shade Chow Chow. I like how it all came together. I'm gonna set my face a little bit in the T-zone area using the new Lawless, their perfecting powder in shade Fair. And I'm using the Lawless brush as well. I've been testing this out and I like how lightweight this powder is. I like that it also doesn't mattify my skin. It doesn't just completely take everything away. It just softens everything. It sets my makeup in place, but I still have that beautiful glow from it then happening. I don't look really flat and matte. So far, I'm really enjoying the top rated stick foundation by Basma. It's performing really well. The only thing I will have to get a different color, like I said, if I enjoy the foundation at the end of the day, just so it's a better shade match for my skin tone. But the way it performed, the way it blends, the way it's sitting on my skin and looking like looking on my skin and I like how it's also pairing with the rest of the makeup a lot of the makeup that I applied is blending in really nice it's not taken away from the foundation so I'm really happy that the top rated stick foundation is holding its own to my favorite stick foundation I think I might like it a little bit more the Basma foundation but we'll see at the end of the day let's go this is what we're looking like it still looks pretty good, a little bit glowy on the forehead, but the found both foundations, both stick foundations, they're radiant, more natural. So when my natural oils start coming to the surface, the foundation starts looking a little more radiant and glowy. So I am gonna powder a little bit. Let's see if I can show you guys right here. I took my Lawless powder. And this powder, it's so nice to reapply throughout the day. It never looks heavy, it never looks cakey, it just looks so good. And again, I'm just focusing on the T-zone. Both foundations, they feel really good. I don't feel like they're slipping and sliding. If anything, the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation, it feels a little creamier on the skin, if that makes sense. But I think because it's a, it's not like a heavier formula, but it's not as lightweight as the Basma Stick Foundation. The Basma Stick Foundation is very lightweight and almost um like non-existent in comparison to the westman atelier i was able to achieve like faster and fuller coverage with the westman so that's why i think there's a little bit more product with the westman but otherwise they both feel very similar and they look very similar on the skin okay how was the best or top rated stick foundation in comparison to my favorite stick foundation so i'm looking close i got a mirror right here to see what it looks like Honestly, I think they look close enough, if anything. I kind of think I lost a little bit of coverage on the Bas Basma side right here in comparison to Westman Atelier on the, the, ch the cheek right here. 
jaw. I think they're so close and they're, the differences are so minute. The only thing is just get a close enough shade match for your foundation. I was a little confused with the shades. So um, like I said, I would have gotten 33 if I knew how light number 39 was. So going forward, I do think the Basma stick foundation is incredible in comparison to the Westman Atelier stick foundation. I think they're very comparable in terms of how they apply, how they look on the skin, and how they wear. But I will say one thing, the Westman Atelier, the Vital Stick uh, Foundation, it is creamier and it has more pigment in comparison to the Basma. The Basma felt a little drier and I felt like I had to work it in the skin a little bit more so than the Westman Atelier. When it comes to the texture and the formula and the application, the Westman Atelier, it's a little creamier and a little easier to work with, but it also feels a little bit heavier on the skin. But all in all, I think they wore super close. Just go try the Basma if you're looking for a great stick foundation. This is what I'm looking like. I, like I said, I repowdered it, repowdered, or just reapplied the powder. When I showed you guys on camera, you can definitely see kind of like the oils peeking through the stick foundations. Um, even if they're like matte, they tend to pull a little more uh glowy and dewy at the end of the day just because of my natural oils that come to the surface i think it's looking pretty good around the smile lines yes it's cracked but it's not bad it still looks like my skin and looks pretty good still the west Atelier side looks a little bit better it's a little softer it's a little more even <laughs> in comparison for the, t the texture but like i said all in all i'm very impressed with the basma foundation for the price and how it performs. Again, I'm gonna keep you guys updated in our website or on our website, Malibu Beauty Review, and just kind of go more in depth. And obviously I'm gonna keep wearing this foundation. I wanna get the correct color for my skin tone. Hopefully number 33 is going to be a good shade match for me, but I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one.